What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys some more Galaxy S9, S9 Plus coverage. Today I wanna to talk about battery life and give you guys five battery life tips that don't suck. And when I say they don't suck, I mean battery life tips that don't impact the overall performance of your device. A lot of people say, turn on battery saving mode, you know, don't play games, turn off Bluetooth and NFC all day. All these tips that are kind of stupid and they impact the way you use your smartphone. It's a smartphone, you wanna use it, with the features that it comes with. So let me tell you five things that you can do that actually allow you to still use the phone and also save some battery life. The first one is to get an AMOLED theme, um, one that's got an all black wallpaper, um, one that's got dark you know, notification shade, etc. My favorite all black theme is called Material Black. I'll show you guys really quick. It's in the Samsung theme store, it's right here. I'll link it below. Uh, it is only available in certain countries, so it might not be available in your country if that's the case, I'm sorry. You guys can see some of the screenshots there, and you can also see how it looks on my device. You've got the nice notification shade here. If you go to the phone, you can see the dialer is all black as well. If you go to the full settings menu, also all black with the white text. It's beautiful, really nice theme. Comes with an all black wallpaper as well, which looks just great on the Galaxy S9, the S9 Plus, because of those really deep blacks. The other thing you can do as well is if you install the third-party keyboard, Gboard, which is Google's keyboard, it also has a material black keyboard to match, so you can actually set this theme in Gboard so you have sort of a really nice uniform look uh, with your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Now this will save battery life because it doesn't turn on those pixels, and if you have this dark theme running all day, that's gonna save you a little bit of juice. The next thing I wanna talk about is the display timeout. So when you actually get the phone, if you go into display settings, you'll notice at the very bottom of display settings, well near the bottom anyway, you'll see the screen timeout section. It says timeout after 30 seconds of inactivity. That means after 30 seconds of you not using the phone, it's gonna turn off. Well, if you're one that sort of leaves your phone sitting there when you're not doing anything with it, you can turn this to 15 seconds, which will actually make it timeout a little bit quicker. Um, and that'll make sure that you also save a little bit of battery life. Now this can be a little annoying, and if you're someone who doesn't really leave your phone sitting there idle all the time, you might wanna leave it on 30 seconds, but this is a tip for those of you who are prone to just set your phone here. If it stays on for 30 seconds and then shuts off, it's gonna drain more battery than if you just leave it on for 15 seconds. The next thing is the always on display schedule. So obviously, the always on display, if you're using it, it's a feature of the phone, you probably wanna use it. It's very nice, gives you notifications, the time, the date, your battery percentage right there. However, you can set a custom schedule for the always on display and tweak some of the settings. And that's something I really recommend you do to save some battery life. So if you go into lock screen and security settings here, and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see always on display right there. Now, it comes with a schedule set by default, which is 7 a.m. to or 7 a.m. to 12 a.m., so 7 a.m. to midnight. You can tweak that to actually adjust to your own personal schedule whenever you go to bed, whenever you wake up. And if you do that, you're gonna make sure that you're only using it during the hours which you're actually awake. I usually don't wake up till 9 a.m., so I might not turn it on until then. That's gonna save me some juice uh, if your phone's off the charger. You can also customize what's actually shown, and you can also turn auto brightness off which will also allow you to adjust the brightness down a little bit when the always on display is on. And if you adjust the brightness down a little bit, that'll make sure you also save a bit of juice if you wanna turn that all the way down. But of course it can sometimes be difficult to see, so that's just something you'll have to play around with yourself and see if you actually like that. I personally like to leave the auto brightness on and leave my custom schedule set to the hours which I am awake. The next thing is actually something that might not work for everyone, but if you're a big social media user, this is really gonna help your battery life quite a bit. Uh, I've started doing this and it's saved me a ton of battery life on my devices, and that is installing the Light apps for Facebook Messenger and for Facebook itself. So if you install the Light apps, these apps are smaller, take a smaller footprint, they use uh, less available resources, and more importantly, they use less battery life. So Facebook Lite just dropped in the US. It's been available in smaller markets for a while. Messenger Lite has been available in the US for a while. Both of these are great. They're gonna take up less storage on your device, use less resources, and at the end of the day, it's gonna use up less battery than you actually would use with the full-size Facebook and Messenger app. So if you use a lot of social media, that's a really great tip. The final one is using if this, then that. So if this, then that is IFTTT. It's an app that basically lets you automate some routines with your Android phone. And there's a couple that I wanna talk about um, that will actually help you quite a bit with your battery life. This Bluetooth disconnect routine right here, if you disconnect the device from Bluetooth, then it turns Bluetooth off. 
That's a very good routine to use because that actually shuts off your Bluetooth anytime you're not connected. Connects again if you have it saved in your preferred device list. That way you don't have to switch Bluetooth on and off yourself. It's automatically done. Um, the next thing is to automatically turn your Android device on Wi-Fi when you get home. That way you're not staying on you know, network or anything like that or auto switching, which will save some battery life. Turn off Wi-Fi when you leave home, which will also save power. It's not searching for Wi-Fi network. The other routine which I use, which is very helpful, is when I'm at work, turn on Wi-Fi just to make sure I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network and not using LTE all day, which also helps not only with automating battery life, but also saving some data. So those are some IFTT routines that you can use. I'll drop a link to the app and also some of the routines that I use. There's probably quite a few others that will actually help you save battery life and a lot of other cool things that can help you automate uh, your life with Android in general. If you guys would like me to do an IFTTT video, please uh, drop in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. So those are my five tips for saving some battery life in the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Hopefully these will work for you and also not impact your day-to-day -day use so you can still enjoy all the features of your new smartphone. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit a notification icon so you can get future videos like this. You guys can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. And I'm also writing over at gadgethacks.com. I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.